Hello everybody, it's Diane. I'm kind of back with those memory cards. Um, I haven't finished the other books. <laughs> I have some of them done, about half. They're fun, they're cute. But uh, punching these things with the leather punch, because that's all I have, is really hard. <laughs> so I'm taking a break. And the ones that were the collage, I decided to do one for myself, so naturally I put Buster on it, and it's supposed to be like this. So I had the great idea to just use more cards and do collages of movie stars. Um, so far, they're all silent. I can add to that over time. Yeah, you can't have too many Busters, can you? Anyway, that's what we're doing today. But, um... My idea was to put them on rings, make it like a book, but these things are so hard to punch. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, we can just say, I'm making Twinchies with silent movie stars. And I'm going to varnish these. I don't know if you noticed that. I did that because of the paint on these, and actually though, it gives it a really nice finished off look anyway. And what I'm going to do with this one, <laughs> I don't know. I might just stick it in my junk journal. Okay. Anybody know that? And I know it's really small. I shouldn't say that. Know who that is? That's Douglas Fairbanks Sr. You may be aware of Junior. That's his father. was married to Mary Pickford. Some of you may know for a time. They did get divorced. She is not Douglas Fairbanks Jr.'s mother, however. And all of these other ones, I was just using magazine paper so far. And I'm not sure what order I'm going to put these videos up in. Because, <laughs> like I said, those ones aren't done yet. So I don't know if I'll hold this video, though, and put it up after the flip-through one. I don't know. We'll see when I get there. today is we're supposed to have unseasonably warm like 52 except I was just outside and it was 40 and so I don't think it's going to make 52 I'm sorry and then it's supposed to drop after that and be more wintry oh sure now they got other ones that match better well I'm just going to go with that If you don't know, he was very well known for his athletics in his movies. Hmm. Actually, he and Mary, they're, I think, they're considered like the first Hollywood uh, like, what would you call them? The, the it couple, the megastar celebrity couple. Hmm. The sconce is cool. Okay, now that's a light fixture I could live with. Yeah, this is an old AD, so I don't think I'm going to be criticizing the light fixtures. So sorry to anybody who's looking for that. <laughs> Gee, Diane. Yeah, we started a light fixture criticism fan club. You're the president. All right. 
right, well, Doug, that's a little boring. See, not that I love that, but doesn't that look so much more normal? <laughs> Maybe the word is old, Diane. Would you get with it? No, never. Well, this is kind of intriguing. Yeah, but it's like really, really competing with the image there, Diane. Well, all right, what if we do this? The top of this is really crooked, or the side or something. And you take this much time with a twinchy? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and not that I have to, but I have been putting little phrases or words on these, I think it sort of adds. Okay. <laughs> so he was really well known for jumping. I know that sounds weird, but jumping in his movies. He'd leap over tables and stuff like that. Actually, it's pretty amazing. We have leaps from one, so we could leave it. We can make it leaps from. We can make it leaps. We can make it L. <laughs> I think leaps from. Leaps over a table in a single bound. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right, let's glue that stuff down. Unfortunately, these little things don't take long to glue. Well, I know this video won't air for a long time, but is anyone putting up their Christmas stuff yet? This is the 2nd of December. I don't put my stuff up too early, although I do have a wreath on my front door. And I have I have one vase of very tasteful <laughs> fake flowers that I rotate throughout the year as I did put the Christmas stuff in that. But yeah, I guess I gotta start thinking about cards and the tree and wrapping and what cookies am I going to make and all that. No, I don't do a December daily if anyone is wondering. I did it once and I've said this before but that was enough for me. And I also said my Christmas activities don't change much from year to year anyway, so I didn't really see much point in it. But they're fun, and really, they're very pretty, and then when they're done... <laughs> see? I told you, he's just amazing. <laughs> wow, Doug, we're so impressed. Okay, here's another footnote. Did you know... He and Mary and Charlie Chaplin, uh, was it D.W. Griffith too? They actually form United Artists, the movie company. They were United Artists, get it? They were trying to get more control for the stars in their films.
Okay, I think we'll wait with leaps from, and I think I'll paint a bit. Um, well, um, I have some paint up here. I'm standing away from the microphone. I don't know, nothing's really jumping out at me, <laughs> no pun intended, to put on this. Uh, maybe like a neon orange would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Did you bring that up with you? No. Hmm, how bad do I want that? Well, you know what? I'll spatter a little white and then leave it. Maybe I'll grab orange later. Maybe not. We'll see. Did I say spatter orange? Spatter white? I don't know. Some of us are tired today. You have to forgive me. Okay. All right. Pretend that's trimmed. Oh, I need the word. I must forgot. All right. I'll do one more with you folks. And then, I don't know, should I just call it a video and do another couple in another video? Or just come back and show you what I've done. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool costume, too. I think that's from the Iron Mask. Okay. Well, let's work on one more. Who should we do? Who do you want to see? Well, how about her? This is Maud, and then there's Maud. <laughs> Feely. I don't know that much about her. If you want to know about her, you're going to have to look her up. She was also a model, I can tell you that, which <laughs> makes sense. See how pretty she was. And she was early 19 teens, I believe, actress. Well, these are pretty. To cut those apart so they can butt up to each other so they fit better or I could trim the frames down too whoops you trimmed the wrong side Diane well, it's a little different generally speaking you can laugh, but these twinchies do go fairly quick because you're not covering as much territory. All right, let's just glue that down. I think I want to trim this a little. I have three more pictures over there, and as long as I have internet access and a printer, I can print more pictures indefinitely. So I may just go on and add, I have, still have cards, which is why I started this whole project. I think my 
Okay, laundry's done. I have to go grab that. Isn't that interesting? Not really. We do laundry too. I have a dog snoring in case you can't <laughs> figure out what that weird noise is. <laughs> he started chugging. Okay, Maud. Maud with an E, by the way. I know you were all wondering. Okay, she needs a word. Something pretty. And yeah, I could get my word envelope out, but I just thought... There's words here. I could find something, right? And I have been up till now. Well, this isn't very interesting, is it? Art Deco Classic. Actually, that's not Deco. I'm just sorry. <laughs> it's an Art Nouveau classic. I probably would grab that up. All right, Maud. Natural beauty. Okay. Yeah, you realize that photograph's got to be well, well over 100 years old. Think about that. We can't, Diane. It's December. There's too much going on. Okay. Something like that. I will straighten that up. I don't know. I sort of like that. Just like that. With... Like that, just like that. <laughs> really, Diane? You ought to conduct a seminar on art. I think I might just leave that one. All right. I'm going to make some more by myself. I guess I'll wait then and come back tomorrow or whenever and let you see how these turned out. Okay? That's, I have Laurel and Hardy. You probably know who that is. You know who that is? That's Theta Barra as Cleopatra. How about that? And I bet nobody knows who this is. Norma Talmadge, who coincidentally enough was Buster Keaton's sister-in-law. Okay, I will be back and let you see the finished product. Just a minute. Okay, they're done. I think they turned out really nice. I like the varnish effect on these. Here's the two Thetas. I wound up putting paper on the backs of them and putting the person's name. I sort of thought of <laughs> just writing it and I know what's going to happen. I'm going to write it and then go, oh, I don't really like that. And I thought of ransom noting it out, you know, with magazine letters. That sounded like it would take too long. So I printed it out on my computer. I added a little white to this one because I noticed as it was sitting on my desk there, she's black and white, and this stuff is all off-white. It To me, it needed it. I put a little orange on this one. I went around in pen a little bit here and there on this, mainly because I didn't get this image, which is magazine. I didn't get it on there straight, so we're camouflaging that.
and I just so happened to come across the word Norman, so we just got rid of the N. Okay, these turned out really nice. I think I'll repeat that. I probably will make more. I don't know if I'll do it on camera or not. And it's a heck of a lot easier than punching holes in the other ones. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a nice day.